today we are making a Mexican side dish for you. Hola, my name is Vanji. I'm a co-author of the Muy Buena Cookbook. Today we're going to make for you some Mexican rice. It took me a few tries to learn how to do this. My mother was always at my side and I was very young then. The first time I, I remember it came out really mushy. The second time it was crunchy. So maybe I, let's say another two times that I tried it, it came out great. Today we're going to do the recipe that you are going to do in your home and it's going to come out perfect. And it's going to be muy bueno. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start by heating one tablespoon of olive oil in a skillet over medium heat. Now I'm going to add one cup of long grain rice and stir until the rice is slightly toasted. Don't walk away from this step. I'm going to turn off the heat now and add in one quarter cup of chopped onion and two cloves of chopped garlic. Stir until the onions are translucent. Don't let the garlic burn. Now it's time to turn the flame back on. I like to add a combination of water and chicken broth. First, I'll add in two cups of cold tap water. I use a cold tap water para asustarlo, which means to scare the rice and help open the rice. Now I'll add one cup of chicken broth. To give Mexican rice that orangey tint, I'm adding one half cup of tomato sauce and crumble a cube of chicken bouillon. You can also use tomato bouillon. If you are using tomato bouillon, use one third cup of tomato sauce. But if you are using chicken broth, add about one half cup of tomato sauce. You don't need to add salt since we are using bouillon. Stir and let mixture come to a boil. Lower the heat, cover and simmer for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, stir with a fork and simmer for another 10 minutes. The key to Mexican rice is patience. Turn the heat off and fluff the rice with a fork and cover again for three to five minutes so the liquid can finish absorbing. And that's how simple it is to make arroz mexicano. Buen provecho.